Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we have a new tower or a stack and this is from Flycolor. It's called the X Tower and it's a 40 amp ESC, 4 in 1 ESC which is a BL Heli 32 and as well as a flight controller uh, combo that comes together. And what is so unique, well it's not really unique about this one, they're really going with the trend here. And the trend is 6S. Everybody, especially, you know, everyone's been talking about 6S a lot lately. So they have prepared themselves and created a 6S stack. So this is obviously a 4 to 6S stack. Overall, this is aimed for 6S users here. And uh, I'm very curious how this is going to basically stack out. Now, uh, just looking at the flight controller, let's actually, let's see what it comes with. Obviously, you get the stack pre-built or pre-assembled like so. There is no pins involved. I know some people are very fussy about pins. Uh, they, they're going to give you just a wire. You connect from here to here and you're good to go. However, you know, there's one little thing that I, I personally don't like is that there is no pads on the flight controller as far as I can tell so far. But once we remove it, we'll double, double check that area. Now, I know this comes with a 3.3 volt regulator, 5 volt regulator, as well as a 12 volt regulator. And uh, we're going to check this out. Also. And it also has an option for VBAT for VTX, I guess. We'll see that in a little bit. Let's go ahead and take a look at the box here. So first of all, the packaging is very nice and it's to be expected from Flycolor. I really like Flycolor products. Um, they do tend to make a lot of hits more than misses so here they give you basically everything i think you'll possibly ever need and uh wait a second oh please tell me yeah i remember this before what they do is what's really really nice like really nice i really love about the fly color stuff when they do these kinds of things is check this out you see this they have the wires basically prepared for you for the things that you that everybody basically uses like a run cam or a fox ear uh, the camera wire would be here just basically perfect VTX wires that even have the singles for you if you don't want it to go anywhere so you don't ruin it so I, I really really love this part right here and this is for you know your S bus or I bus you would have to uh, figure out which one it is but I think this is probably for S bus here as you can tell right there like that uh, we'll figure it out in a little bit this is the wire that's going to be connecting your ESC to your flight controller as I believe and uh, yes it is so that's very nice. Um, basically, you you connected everything like this. All you have to do is connect your uh, camera, VTX, and receiver, and you're good to go. And obviously your motors, uh, which is really really nice. Um, they it's really thought out. They simplify the build, and um, I really like that. I really do love this. So let's put this to the side. They prepared you know the XT60 for you, long enough wires. Everything is silicone, so it's it's premium out of the box. Look at all this stuff. I mean, I, I love these because after I do the build, I have these left over for other things. And um, this is how I basically use silicone wires from. And they're very nice. Never throw these away ever. They also give us a low ESR capacitor here. And it's it's really recommended to add low ESR capacitor to everything. Uh, let me just try to figure out what it is. It's a Rubicon 330 microfarad low ESR capacitor. However, I would install a larger one uh, if you're going to be rocking 6S on it. Just uh, It's just going to be better all over. Overall, so what I want to do with this one, I want to do something a little bit different. I want to build it, fly it, and then come and stick it on our bench and then see how well it tested. Uh, that's just what I want to do with this one, really, because I really want to test it out. It has nice filtration on board, as you can tell right there. The board is absolutely phenomenal here. So let's go ahead and start taking this guy apart. So let's just see uh, basically everything that it comes with. So it says double filtration, uh, double dampening. Now, I don't know what double dampening means, but I see a little O ring over there, right here. So I'm just going to keep it like this. I'm just going to remove these top ones here. They don't give you any extras. So try not to lose your, um, try not to lose these little nylon stuff if you don't have any. So yeah, that'll, that'll you don't want to wait a while to build it because you lost the nylon screw or something or nut. All right. So here we go. So first of all, what I totally notice off the bat here is that they do have um, the dampeners, you know, the standoff dampeners right here. So this provides dampening for the flight control, even though it really doesn't need it. It's MPU 6000 gyro, but it's really nice to have. And uh, if we take a look at the ESC here, the ESC actually looks pretty nice, I must say. Uh, filtration looks pretty good. They look like big enough capacitors on board. Um, I really think this is going to perform very well just from looking at it. But obviously, this is just a theory of mine. Uh, time will tell once we build it and set it up and do the testing on it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the flight controller now. So we do have SD card expansion. We have a couple coils here. We have some, some filtration going on. And we have the OSD chip. And we have the F405 here. 
And um, yeah, there is no pads to solder. So you're going to have to use the connectors here. And uh, let's see if we could read those. So this one is SBUS PPM, or if you're going to be using like IBUS, it's all here. RX1 would be something like IBUS or uninverted SBUS. SBUS is the FR Sky SBUS, which is the inverted. PPM, if you're still using PPM, uh, it's the second one here. So if we were to get, let's see, we're going to have to get the wires out now. So I'm pretty sure they have it prepared for SBUS because I think most of the market is using SBUS here. So this wire would go here. And how did I know that? It's because they usually prepare a JST type connector for uh, receivers. So yeah, this side is all SBUS. You could remove these, but you don't have to. Oh wait, let's double check this actually. So yeah, it's a little bit confusing here because SBUS and PPM are right next to each other. Um, I, I really don't understand what's really going on here. But I think it's uh, mislabeled, the PPM here. I think it's just SBUS. So I think I was correct when you put, let's actually see the instruction manual here because that's a very important step here because you don't want to burn your receiver or burn that pad over there. So yes, um, PPM and SBUS are on the same pad. So it wasn't really a um, mislabeling. So good thing they had, gave us a very clear uh, manual here, which uh, you're, you're really going to need actually. So I just lost the wire. There it is. All right. So basically the first three here w with this wire that comes, it's only one with the JST type or the servo type connector here. So what you do is when you connect this guy, um, basically the white wire is SBUS or PPM here. And then these are, you know, five volt in ground. Obviously, if you're using spectrum, you're not going to be connecting it here. I think they have this special type of connector here so you could connect it right there. Uh, but if you had, for example, you, you want to use IBUS because you, you don't have an FR sky. So what you'd want to do is you're going to go ahead and take this blue wire and this would be IBUS. So this is SBUS and this is IBUS. And uh, this one here is a TX1. If for some reason you needed TX1, uh, this is where you'd use it. But obviously, I think both of them are basically all UART1 here. Even the SBUS is UART1 as I believe. So yeah, this is inverted. The top one, this one is an inverted RX1 right here. And this one is an uninverted RX1 here. So that's how you would install it. So pretty simple, kind of. All right, let's put this to the side here. Here we have camera, but the camera is, uh, they're giving you 12 volt for your camera. It's okay, it's totally fine. But I personally don't like doing that. That's just me. Um, I'd like to give it a five volt instead. Let's see if we could find the camera wire here. Yeah, I think this is it. So the camera wire is pretty nice. They prepare it and that should fit perfect inside your run cam or your Fox here or whatever. So um, yeah, you don't need to solder anything in that perspective. But now VTX, where is VTX? Let's see this side. I think it's on the other side here. All right, so the VTX. So this is gonna be, hold on, where is it? All right, so this is for the ESC. And if we take a look here, uh, this is buzzer right there. So they do give you the wire for the buzzer, but they don't give you a buzzer. So here it is. This is for the buzzer right there. It says buzz and it also has it on the uh, sheet here. So you could totally go ahead and go with the diagram. So if we flip this guy over, there we go. You see that's the buzzer. And then if we take a look here, what do we have here? We have UART 6 and RX, uh, RX 6 and TX 6 ground 5 volt and then RX 3 and, and uh, TX 3 and RX 3 basically. So here if you wanted to put some kind of uh, I don't know if you wanted to control your VTX through this, you could do that from right there from one of these two, uh, either the TX3 or the RX3, RX6 here. So that's that's fine in that perspective. Uh, LED and 5 volt would be here. And then here is the VTX. So that's very nice. This is the VTX. So out of the box, the connector for the VTX is going to give you 12 volt for the VTX. So I really like that instead of VBAT. But if you wanted to, let's just say you wanted to access VBAT. Um, there is really no way to access VBAT except uh, by just basically soldering the positive from the ESC to, to the VTX if you wanted to give VBAT to the VTX. So let's see if we could find the connector for the VTX here. There it is. So what's nice is they also give you, you know, the latest VTXs are kind of all going with this type of connector now. So, you know, but for me, the Asian TX526 is like old school. So it doesn't really use this type of connector. So I'd probably have to figure something out for it. Unless I'm going to use uh, some kind of an AT ladle from Hollybro or something. 
then I could totally do that. Oh, there we go. It's here. So let's just see how this would be connected. So it really simplifies the process, especially if you choose the correct components that these wires come with. Basically, you have no soldering except the uh, receivers, I believe, especially if using an XM Plus. So you won't be soldering anything. I think if, if you have the correct VTX type, correct camera, which is a Fox here, run cam. And uh, so you, you'd end up soldering is an XT60 connector and your receiver and the motors. That's it. That is gonna be hella quick build. Um, really nice and clean build. So that's very nice to see, but I still like pads personally. Uh, but this is also, you know, since they've provided everything for you here, it's it's absolutely phenomenal. And um, they go on and showing you how to, you know, flash if you needed to flash and all these things. But nowadays you really don't need to, just update and you're good to go. So yeah, it's, it's, a, it's really nice, I mean, uh, they try to simplify it as much as possible and I really like that and I think we're gonna see that quite a bit more uh, Lately, we're gonna see that quite a bit more often now. So overall, I mean, uh, I think it's a uh, I think it's gonna perform very nice It all it all boils down to the the, the ESC's really uh, or Any quadcopter, but it's just it, the ESC is gonna dictate the way it flies. Some people say no, that's not true Well, I think it's it's 100% true. I mean because that's the only thing that you know is is taking care of the noise that the mo motors are being you know, the motors are generating and depending on your flight controller if it can't take a specific amount of noise uh then you're gonna have all kinds of issues so if, for me the esc is a uh, is what dictates the whole build really uh so that can give you a nightmare or could give you the best time of your life in my opinion. So overall, it looks like a nice stack. It's 6S rated. Uh, we will be testing this on a 6S. I do have 6S, but uh, I need to find motors that will be able to take a 6S just fine instead of just immediately burning up here. I did lose a nylon stand-up, but that's fine. Nylon nut, but that's fine. I have plenty, so I can just replace it with another one. But I really do like the way they have uh, executed this stack here. Um, it looks really nice. And um, I can't wait to build it. I don't know what I'm going to build it on. I think we're going to build it on the iFly iX2, iX5. I'm not sure yet, but it should be pretty interesting. And um, we'll see how all this stacks up. I can't wait to see it out. Check it out. So that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.